First, let's use this video, then insert the background music too. And next, insert the video of the screen recorded video that we will be using for the pseudo 3D. Using the mask tool, the rectangle shape. Let's use this to remove the unwanted parts of the video. If you have custom mask, you can use it too. Then right click and select create compound clip, then press OK. Next, go to effects and search for corner pin. Then, apply that effect to the compound clip video. For the corner pin values, I'll flash them on the screen. You can copy what I did. After applying the corner pin values, it should look like this. Then move it to the right and set the scale to 140. Next, let's use the masking tool again, but this time the linear mask. For the rotate value and position, X and Y value, you can also copy what I did. Going back on the corner pin, select all these four keyframes, then go to the start of the video, then click this rotated arrow to reset. It should look like this at first before it takes on the pseudo 3D effect. Then, go to animation and apply the slide up effect. Then, go to shadow and choose any color you like. I'll be using neon green. After that, adjust the distance, blur, and opacity. Proceed by finding the part of the screen recorded video right before the artist pops out. Since we need to split that section, Next, go to Effects, Cyberpunk Effect 03. Set the filter to 80 and the strength to 60. Next, apply the Flash Lamp and Pulse Shake 03 effects to the second screen recorded video. Strength 27, then Glow 52. Next effect is Highlight Glow, Glow 5 Radius 30. Then go text, search reel, you can use text reel 1 and 2. Try this text reel 1, then let's type the weekend, since this is the artist of the song. Adjust the size and rotation, then align it here as shown. Also extend the text too. For the text animation, use the Fade 1 animation. Of course, add Shadow 2 for this text. Once you're done, you can now export the video. 